Rev up your engines! Okay, here we go. You got an overheating car. In this case, it's a PT Cruiser. There are literally dozens of things that can make a car overheat. So, where do you start? Well, you start with the most obvious things you can find. And what's in it? Okay, it's got PO300, multiple misfires. It's got PO128 coolant thermostat below regulating temperature. And again, the misfires. And no definition found. That's fascinating. But when we look over here, that's for the TCM. That's for the transmission control module. So that probably won't have anything with the engine overheating. We'll ignore that for the time being. So the codes, hey, the engine's misfiring. But is the engine misfiring because the engine's overheating? Or is something making the engine misfire and that causes the engine to overheat? Well, that wasn't all that much help, so let's check the coolant level next. Well, we'll look inside here and lo and behold, you can't even see the coolant, so it's low on coolant. Now, there's a whole bunch of reasons you could be low on coolant. Leaking radiator cap, leaking the system, overheating engine. But since this engine's cold, here's a quick test. What you can do is start the engine up cold with the cap off, then put your hand over the radiator cap hole. Now, I don't feel any pressure coming out, so the head gasket isn't completely blown. If my hand would have had a lot of pressure coming out on an ice cold engine when you started it, where you removed the radiator cap from, that'd mean the head gasket's so far gone, it's just blowing smoke up through there, and you know the engine would need work. But in this case, that's not happening, so for the time being, we're just gonna put some water in the system to check for leaks. Now, while we're doing this, we're gonna turn on the AC full blast, to see if the cooling fan works then. Here we go. And as we go in here, we'll put our hands here and yes, I can feel the cooling fan blowing really strong. So we know the cooling fan works fine with the AC on, but sometimes the cooling fan does not work right when the AC is off. They're two separate systems. Because when you turn the AC on, it's supposed to turn the cooling fan on the radiator on to suck air through the radiator and the AC condenser that's in front of the radiator so the AC blows cold but when you're driving a car with the AC off it's a different system and that works that when the sensor for that system sees the temperature gets to a certain amount of degrees it'll turn the cooling fans on and then when it cools down they'll go off and then when it gets hotter again it'll go on so I'm going to turn the AC off now and let it idle and see if the fans come on and off. This might take a little while, but hey, that's the life of figuring out why your car is overheating. So we'll turn the AC off, and now we'll go to the fan here, stick our hand behind it, and we don't feel it, it's not moving. So now we have to wait till the engine warms up. Now here's the temperature gauge. Once it starts to warm up, we gotta watch to see that those fans come on. It's a very common problem with these things that that original system doesn't turn the fans on. Now while we're waiting for it to warm up, Here's a tip. Let's say your car is starting to overheat, especially in traffic. And if you turn the AC on and it stops overheating, the temperature goes back down, hey, just drive around with the AC on. At least for the interim, you're not hurting anything. This may or may not be the problem. We don't know. We got to wait until the car warms up to see if that cooling fan comes on by itself with the AC off. Now, while we're waiting, this is the time that you need to know everything about the car possible. In this case, I asked the customer, he said, the car was wrecked in the front. Some body work done and some radiator work done. It could easily be they messed with the sensors that turned the cooling fan on. That could be the whole problem, but we gotta wait until see whether it comes on or not. Cause if it comes on, well, that's not the problem. Well, the temperature gauge is starting to get a little bit higher. So let's go under the hood and see what's happening with the fan. I hear something and lo and behold, the fan is coming on. So that system is working. The fan's coming on. Well, now what are we gonna do? Now I gotta figure out, why is it overheating? Well, I just figured one thing out. The fan's just kicked in full blast. You can hear them. And when I put my hand behind the radiator fan, it's blowing like mad, but it's cool air. That should be hot air. So for some reason, the radiator isn't getting enough hot water in it. And just now it's starting to overheat to get in the hot, so we'll turn it off. So I'm gonna get this little temperature gun out. Hey, it was 19 bucks or so. We're gonna try to find where there's a restriction to keep the water from getting into the radiator so it'll dissipate the heat with the fan. We'll take a few temperature readings. Hey, the top is 199, but the bottom here is only 108. So 
The water's not coming from the top to the bottom. And guess what? The thermostat's in here. So we're just going to change the thermostat. Let's pray it's that cheap of a fix. So we'll move some stuff out of the way and unbolt the thermostat. And there's the stupid thing. This is supposed to be closed when it's cold and open when it's hot. You saw it getting hot, it didn't open. So we're going to replace the thermostat. Now when you put the new thermostat in, you got to make sure that the notch goes the right way. There's a notch right here. Fits right in. As you can see right here, it fits right in the notch. It's nice and tight and it won't fall out when you put it back in. Then you tighten the housing back on. And we'll fill it full of coolant. Put the cap back on. Nice and tight. Then start it up and see what Father Time has to say about it heating after it warms up. Remember, there's no shortcuts when it comes to time. You gotta let it run until it warms up. Then see if the fan comes on. If it does, odds are it's fixed. Still need to road test it for half an hour or so, see how it does on the highway. But it was overheating just idling before, and if it stops now, that should be it. And here we go. I hear the fans coming on. And when I stick my hands in, the air's blowing. And this time, it's warm air. It's not cool air. It means it's actually circulating. And as we can see on the temperature gauge, look, it's staying pretty much around the middle. It's not going up to the H like it was before. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.